Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about percent of change. And we're going to find each percent change to the nearest percent and state if it's an increase or decrease. So, if I was given this problem from 36 inches to 90 inches, okay? From 36 inches to 90 inches. Well, first, I need to see, is this an increase or decrease, right? It's an increase, right? We're going up from 36 to 90. So it's an increase. So we got an increase here. So now I need to find the difference. So I take 90 and subtract 36 from it, okay? Well, 0 and 6, can't subtract it. Make that an 8, make this a 10. Using the traditional method here, 10 minus 6 is 4. And 8 minus 3 is 5. And so we have a 54-inch increase. Uh, difference between them, right? It's 54 inches that increased, right? So we take that 54, and we divide it by 36. So I'm going to use my calculator for this one. 54 divided by 36 comes out to be, very easy, 1.5. So we have a 1.5 here, okay? Now, it's not a 1.5% increase. We know we need to move the decimal two units, right, to make it a percent. So 1.5 comes out to be a 150% increase. And we don't have to worry about rounding because it's just zeros from there on out. So we actually have a 150% increase, okay, from 36 to 90 inches. So let's recap. We started with 36 to 90 inches. We need to know if that was an increase or decrease. Increase, it's going up. We take that 90 and subtract 36 from it to find the difference between these two numbers, and we have 54. We take that 54, divide it by the first number, 36, and we get 1.5. We convert that to a percent, and that 1.5 turns out to 150 percent. And so now our final answer here is a hundred from 36 to 90 inches, it's a 150 percent increase.